Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sue with Homesteading with Sue, and today I'm teaching you how to make Denali dill pickles. Um, so what I have so far is eight. I'm actually making it. I'm time flooring it. So for the actual recipe, it's two cups of white vinegar. I actually did eight. I'm going to do eight cups of water. Then I am going to do eight tablespoons of salt. It called for two. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then I'm just going to uh, go ahead and get a Danish dough whisk to stir it together with. And then I'm just going to put it on the burner. And that is our brine for the dill pickles. You, would, uh, you should use um, canning salt for the brine because it's a thicker salt. Um, if you're gonna use um, something else, you'll need to add a little bit to it. This says if you don't use canning salt and you use um, Morton's kosher salt, you need to add one and a half teaspoons. And if you do the um, diamond crystal kosher salt, you'll need to add two teaspoons of that. So I'm just gonna stick this on the stove and let it get warm. All right, so that part is done. So now I need to do some heads of garlic. I am going to use um, pint jars for my pickles. And this is just part of the cucumbers I'm doing um, today. And I haven't decided yet. Actually, I haven't decided if I'm going to keep them whole if I can get them into the jars, or if I'm gonna cut them in half, because they will actually fit whole. And then I'll just cut some to shove in the holes. That way the pickles stay crisper, hopefully. So, we will see. Right now I am going to do my garlic cloves though. So, I didn't, have anything to do this with, of course. And one clove goes in the bottom of each pipe jar. Some of the pickles are a little bigger than I'm going to want to put into a jar hole anyway, but we'll see how this works. I'm going to get myself a knife. And you guys know how I do this. I just, whoops, just make a mess with everything. I just squish it. And then I'll peel them.
I'm not quite sure how many I'm going to need, so I'm just going to do a whole lot. But you guys don't need to watch me do that, so I'm going to go ahead and shut you off, and I'll bring you back when I'm done with that. All right, so I did enough for the first batch of um, garlic. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through these pickles and see which ones are too big for bite size. And I do believe this one is too big, and it's probably too big for the pint, actually. But I think this one would be a good bite size one, so I'm not going to cut it down. And I'm just going to cut this bigger one in half. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, one clove of garlic to each jar. And I, I'm assuming that I'll get at least seven. So I'm going to go ahead and set up seven so I can do a whole pressure, uh, whole um, water bath canner full. So um, I put in one clove of garlic and I'm going to put in one teaspoon of pickling spices in each jar. And I'm going to use dill seed until I run out, and then I'll use dill weed, which I'm going to use um, a one-to-one -one ratio because I don't want my jars all cloudy because of the the um, dill weed. So I'm just going to put one teaspoon of dill seed or dill weed in each jar. This steel seed is what we dehydrated together earlier this year. I'm just going to spread what's left. There we go. So those all got done, and now we're just going to put pickles. Whoops. Yeah, I think those are too big for pint. Or I think I'm gonna have to cut them in strips. I was hoping that I would be able to keep them um, whole so that they would stay crisper, but apparently not. So what I do is I put the cut side towards the glass. So that's what my first jar looks like. And I will put brine in them when it's ready. It's not quite ready yet. So let's go on to our next jar. You're supposed to leave a half an inch head space. And I will use a debubbler after I put the the um, grind in to get rid of the bubbles. Let's 
see if I can shove some more in there. These little pieces I'll put on top. Oh yes, this is done. Let's see if I can get it over here on my table somewhere. And I'm gonna go ahead, <clears throat> go ahead and water back can these for um. 15 minutes. Are in there pretty good. To be honest, so I'm going to go ahead and put. Whoops. Again, I am unorganized. Sorry, guys. Just going to use vinegar to wipe off the edges of the jar. Going to put a Denali lid on it. I love these things. They're the best lids I have found. I've done almost 800 jars this summer, and none of the Denali lids have failed. My affiliate link will be in the um, description of this video, of course. Once I get all these jars filled, then I'll go ahead and stick them in the water bath canner. Of course, it has a metal grate in the bottom so that the jars don't um, hit directly on the burner.
got my data fill. I am forgetting everything. Okay, there's three of them. So I'm going to go ahead and um, after, I'll bring you back after I take them out and show you what they look like. Thank you. Okay, I also forgot, I actually got nine into my, um, my water bath canner, but I also forgot to put in, I don't know what I'm doing here, pickle crisps to keep, hopefully keep the pickles more crisp. Um, I put in an, an eighth of a teaspoon. So now we're just waiting for the water bath counter to do a rolling boil and then we will set the time for 15 minutes. So I did forget to tell you that um, what I did overnight was I put the cucumbers in this big bowl. After I cut off both of the ends and I put them in salt water, I put it in three quarters of a cup salt water with eight quarts of um, of water and um, that was also to help them stay crisper so hopefully that worked um, thank you good morning so it's the day after my dill pickles so I'm going to test to see if I can lift the jars up by taking off the rings jar sealed perfectly So there, out of 25 pounds, I got 29 pints of steel pickles yesterday. I just love these Denali lids. They seal so great. canning so I'm actually going to wipe these off um, and label them later today. So all 29 pints, try that again, all 29 pints sealed correctly. So like I said, I will wash them and mark them later, <coughs> excuse me, today. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.